Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Civil Stuff by Wahid. Today we are going to discuss about the terms used in chain surveying. The terms used in chain surveying. Now what is the purpose of knowing this topic is, so in your practicals you will be performing the chain surveying, uh, a task will be given to calculate the area, a task will be given to calculate the area. So directly we can't go and uh, do all the things by using chain and type. Whatever the thing you are doing, you have to plot it to know the area. Just we are going to measure the distances. Further, some termal terminologies are there which are very important in order to calculate the area. So here, this is my area where I am going to calculate in the field. So this triangulars is nothing but these are the control points I can see. So if you already know the stages involved in performing a surveying is reconnaissance survey. In that reconnaissance survey one should what uh, the person who is going to do the survey is to do is they have to fix some points for co with covering the whole area, whole given area. That is nothing but fixing up the control points. Now let I consider this as a A, B, C and D. Now while selecting these stations, one should be seen that if I stand at A, the station, sorry, I stand at B, the station A should be visible and station C should be visible. And if I stand at C, preceding one B and D. Like that, these stations are to be selected in such a way that they are intervisible to each other. They are intervisible to each other. And these main stations are to be covered the whole area. See, I restricted to four only. And it, you can go for n number of stations. The station should be such that it should cover the whole area and they are intervisible to each other. Okay. Now these are also called as what? Control points. Now we fixed it after that and these main stations while drawing, while plotting, it should be symbolically mentioned like this triangle. If it is triangle means that indicates the main station. Again no need to write the main station like that. Only symbolical representation is uh, must in your, what do you say, maps. Okay. Now. This A, B, C, D, I am connecting by using the survey lines. Those are nothing but called as what? Main survey lines. When I am connecting main stations, the line joining the one main station to another main station is nothing but called as what? Main survey line. This indicates like this. Your indication should be like this. Okay. So A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A, these are the all main survey stations, right? Next, our main thing is first you have to fix up a baseline. The baseline should be the longest line in the whole area selected and it should connect two main stations. So here a to D, if I draw sir, A to C, this is nothing but called as what? Baseline. Base <coughs> line. What is this baseline means? It is the largest line, longest line of the whole area connecting two main survey stations. Base means what? We are going to take this as a reference. We are going to take this as a reference. Okay. And this is also a called as what main survey line this is also a main survey line okay because suppose this is one building this is one building this is one building this is one building. i want to point out the location of this building in a map how how can i map i will be taking offset from where i have to take the offset from the base line from the base line right next if any state station marked on these survey lines or base lines is nothing but called as what subsidiary stations what is called as 
subsidiary stations subsidiary stations now these also subsidiary stations but here we have marked on main survey lines so then we call it as a what tie stations these are called as what tie stations whereas if i mark one subsidiary station if i mark one station on survey line with reference to one one main station these are getting called as what subsidiary stations tie stations subsidiary stations see the difference subsidiary stations means with respect to one main station whereas tie stations are on the survey line these are not main station these are what tie stations okay now <coughs> with reference to this one these are the things next we will see main survey lines what is main survey line i just said you the line joining any two main stations is nothing but a main survey lines next base line is nothing but it is the largest line among the whole area which is taken as a reference which is taken as a reference next to form a network of triangles what is see you can see one triangle here okay i will write this as a t1 t2 this as a s1 this as a s2 and this as a t3 this as a t4 like that right now when we go for these tie stations and when we go for subsidiary stations okay so subsidiary stations are used in order to frame a network of triangles what is our principle of chain surveying the principle of chain surveying is what chain triangulation means dividing the area into number of small small triangles and those small triangles should be either ideal triangle or well conditioned triangle but not ill conditioned triangle now what is ideal triangle every time based upon the whole area it is not possible to make ideal triangle ideal triangle or isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle means every angle should be 60 degrees but in the field is it possible to make such triangle it is not possible so but it is possible to make some angle like this what it will be 90 130 90 100 130 means here it will be 50 means this is well conditioned this is possible this is rarely possible very rarely not exactly very rarely and ensure that no ill conditioned triangle is formed in condition to tangent means any angle should not be less than 30 or should not be more than 120 ensure that the angle of any triangle should not be less than 30 degrees or should not be more than 120 degrees if it is so it is nothing but a ill conditioned triangle okay now these subsidiary stations are formed for dividing the area into network of triangles now from this i can take perpendicular offset or oblique offset there are two offsets methods one is perpendicular offset and next one is oblique offset now we'll see further what is perpendicular offset and the oblique offset now when we go for these tie stations suppose an obstruction building is there or any tree is there which is very far away with my main survey lines which is very far away far away to this main survey line or this base line so in that situation i will run one tie stations from this tie line i will take this okay i will take this one so i can take this from here to here right so these are the terminologies and check line right what is this check line check line is nothing but is also called as a proof line it is also called as what proof line means in the field we are performing the survey but while plotting whether our survey done is plotted correct or not you have to check it so for that what you have to do is this tie line or a subsidiary line this can be act as a check line now what is this check line what is this 
Okay. So, check line. What is the purpose? For every triangle, there, check, there must be one check line. Now, what is the check line? Means, suppose, see here. I know from A to at a distance of some 10 meters, I have pointed one point in the field and from A to B at a distance of 12 meters, I pointed it one mark. Because chain surveying, we don't know the angles. We don't know the angles. But anyway, we have to plot it. Anyway, we are supposed to plot it. For that purpose, at a 10 meters from A to C and from 12 meters at A to B, I will measure this distance, say some 8 meters I got. Now, after plotting this one, I should get, I should point out in the, in the uh, sketch at 10 meters and 12 meters, if I measure this one, if I getting 8, our work done is correct, means our plotting is correct. If not, there will be some mistake. Like that for check purpose, we call this as what? Proof line also, check line or proof line. And as I said you, tie lines can be used as a check lines. And what is the purpose of running a tie stations or tie lines is whenever an object is very far away with respect to a baseline or main survey lines, then in those situations, tie stations are fixed. Next, how to get the details of this one, position of this object or this object is this object in our survey. There are two things, offset, taking the offset. Now, what is this offset means? You can take perpendicular offset or oblique offset. Now, what is this perpendicular offset? Suppose, consider this as a, this is a baseline, right? If I am able to take this point directly with respect to what? Perpendicularity. Then it is nothing but perpendicular to me. With respect to this line, I have to see the perpendicular to this line. I can take the distance. This one. I can take the distance. While taking the distance, from here to here, you should know the distance and this distance. So I can locate this point. I can locate this point. Okay. Means the object corner points are taken perpendicular to with respect to some baseline or any survey line. That is what perpendicular offset. Just baseline, from baseline, what is the distance, perpendicular distance of that object corner? The object corner, object corner, like that. You can frame that corner. Okay. But what do you mean by oblique? What do you mean by oblique? In some situations, that corner point is not able to have take a perpendicularity. In those situations, any obstructors you may get like that. In those situations, the same corner point may be taken from two different points. Two different points. That is nothing but called as a oblique. That is called as what? Oblique offset. Okay. Means, pick up in the point, one point, one corner point of an object from two points of same baseline is nothing but called as a oblique offset. Okay. Right. So these are the some of the terminologies which are very important while performing the survey. In the previous class, we have studied regarding the what are the different types of chains used. Okay. In further classes, we will be seeing uh, what are the importance of equipments, each equipment. What means, generally there are different uh, equipments, list, uh, list of equipment that are used in chain surveying, that is what? Chain, tape, arrows, right? Ranging rods and uh, next to mallet, plumb, uh, plumb bob and uh, next is what? Peg, okay? Next to cross off, like that. In the next further classes, will do what are the use of each one okay and how many types are there suppose if i take an arrow what is the purpose of arrow what is the purpose of ranging rod and and uh, um, what is the purpose of tape and how many types of tapes are there and cross stuff what is the purpose and how many different types of cross stuffs are there we'll see in the further classes
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोज